Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Day two of IFA back at the Samsung booth because we didn't get quite a close enough look at all the features, specifically the S Pen features in the new Galaxy Note 3. So let's check out what you can do with this new class leading phablet. So the new S Pen might physically resemble the older one, but it's capable of a whole lot more, and that's thanks to software. Now, when you hover over the screen, press the button once, the Air Command window pops up. You can tap Action Memo, which is the first. We're going to go left to right, and Action Memo is first for a very good reason. We showed you a little bit before about how the uh, Action Memo could be used to save a phone number. But we did not show you how it can plug in to navigation. Now I'm going to give this a very, very vague address here and see if we can get the software to pin us at a specific location. But if you have a real address, see, here we go. Smith Ave, Staten Island, that sounds great. I don't think I want to go there, but we're just going to go there in our imaginations. Isn't that going to be fun? Boom, there it is. And of course, you're not going to find addresses or contacts list. You can call phone numbers directly by writing them in. You can send text messages. You can send emails with the content. There's a whole lot here you can do. You can add stuff to a task list. So this is the first feature, once again, for a very good reason, because it is pretty versatile. Another cool application in, that's in the Air Command menu here is Scrapbooker. So we tap that, and it initially looks like the selective screen grab application that we see in all the previous notes, but it is not quite that. Now, say we want to grab Jaime Rivera's little blurb about the uh, latest episode of the Pocket Now Daily, which you should watch if you don't already. You can draw a box around it, and it's not just grabbing the image there. It's saving to the scrapbook a screenshot, yes, but also a computed copy of the text. It's just done optical character recognition on all the text. Dropped all that in there. We save it to our scrapbook. We can, in fact, do memos on it and all that stuff, but we're just going to save it right now. And that goes into the scrapbook, and that is very, very handy. And we'll show you a little bit more about that later, but it's a really nice way of taking notes uh, on the quick. The next function, uh, screen write, is something we're all very familiar with. You see all the instant screen grab action there, and of course, we can write on the screen in all manner of in all manner of ways, using all manner of colors and uh, instruments. There have been some just slight tweaks to the UI here to show you uh, point size. I believe we might have another color option or two. Uh, we can individually target colors, which might be, actually, we might have been able to do that on Note 2, I don't remember. But we all know what this is like. You circle things and go over here. This is not something we want to dwell on, but it's nice that that feature's there for the people that uh, continue to value it. The fourth toggle on the Air Command menu, which you, once again you press, you get just by pressing the button on the side of the S Pen, is S Finder. And this launches you into a screen which doesn't really obey the cosmetic rules of any of the rest of the UI. I mean, it looks like maybe the future of where Samsung's TouchWiz is going to go. I'm not really sure. Obviously, we're uh, just kind of spitballing there. It looks nice and clean, but it doesn't really look like it fits. Anyway, the reason we saved Jaime's story before was because it discussed the Nexus 5. So I'm going to search system-wide for the Nexus 5 and hopefully go ahead and find that somewhere. Oh, hey, look, I've got a scrapbook entry on it. Tap the scrapbook entry, pops up that story before and the text associated with it. This is a very, very handy feature. System-wide search is something that many people find useful, not just on the desktop, but in mobile, uh, increasingly in mobile as it becomes available. So that's really nice to see. And finally, in the Air Command window, for people who don't want to rely on just the multi-screen multitasking, you can hop over to Pen Window. And um, the most often used example here is the calculator. You're just going to draw a window size that you like for your application size. And then you can, we've used a calculator before, you've seen that. Let's just open up a Hangouts window here. And there it is. There's, this, there's a resized Hangouts window. We are, here's our fake contact list, thankfully, helpfully provided by Samsung. This is really wild. This 1080p display allows us to actually read this text and see these numbers in here. We can't start a hangout with any of these imaginary people because they don't really exist. There's AirView at work. We can move that around and say you want to minimize any of these. You can minimize it. It becomes very much like a chat head from the Facebook app. It goes over there. And we can do another one. Let's say, what, what do we want to do here? Uh, pen window will make an app a big old wide one. So here's that. Here's a YouTube app. The YouTube app is a little finicky because it doesn't like being in particular aspect ratios, but you can resize it like that. And you're watching a YouTube video here. And air view is a little buggy there, apparently. If you're watching a YouTube video here, drag it on down. 
and you're having a hangout conversation up here, or maybe you want to invert that so you can use the keyboard. But this is, you know, awkward and cumbersome, and you probably wouldn't do this all that often. So we'll go ahead and stop this. We'll actually go ahead and minimize this. The video stops automatically. We put these off to the side, and let's do some multi-screen action. Let's do the exact same thing we were doing before. There that is. Here's Hangouts down below. And this is great. But say you're watching a, uh, let me see if I can actually, yeah, I know, I know these aren't real. All right, fine. Well, we're going to go into messaging then, and me messaging is going to be our substitute for, uh, for Hangouts. Go and go. There we go. All right, so Maria Brown, yes. I, well, it, you know, it's all right that our meeting's going to be delayed because it's, it's fake. But say we're watching a video and uh, we see something compelling in the description on the video or in the comments, say, and you want to grab that and drag it into your text message conversation. All you do is tap in the little dot, dividing the windows, and drag and drop content. You can just take that whole paragraph, bring it down here into the messages, boom. There that is. You send it to Maria. Suddenly, Maria knows why your presentation is going to be late. Probably won't stop you from getting fired by your imaginary boss. Folks, there's a whole lot more new to the Galaxy Note 3. A lot of it cosmetic, like the new layout of the S Note app here, which should help you find your memos, save your memos, make it all a little bit more exciting, a little bit more useful. But we're going to get into those in our, in our true deep dive on the software functionality for now. This is just a slightly more detailed look at some of the added features Samsung is bringing to the Galaxy Note 3. From day two at IFA, as we wrap things up, we thank you for continuing to watch Anton Dinoj behind the camera, and we'll talk to you real soon from Pocket Now.